eat a deal gift. Shall we race, like we did in Siwa? Ah, only if you're ready to lose. Bold words. I will see you back them up. Eat my dust. What is the price for winning? You'll never find out. Whoa. You're slower than Ramses, and he's been dead a few years now. You can't keep that pace. Try me. Faster, beast, faster. I need to prove a point. Clear off now! Seems I have come out on top. Seems you have. Ah, we all have weaknesses. Yes, and yours is winning graciously. What is this about? The queen is about to speak. Let's go and listen. Some awesome soup. As they rule, the gods curse our land, withholding the river's floods. But as the living goddess ascends the throne, the waters will rise again. Through me, Memphis shines as rubies set in gold. Through me, Egypt triumphs. I cannot lose them. They must know my voice is that of the goddess. My queen. The Apis bull persists in ailing. We have found the cause of his sickness. He was poisoned. Who did this? The twin priestesses. Have them boiled to death inside a bronze bull. Goddess, no. They were coerced. The brother was kidnapped by a priest of Anubis with a blue scarf and a cough. A tepi? But he is amongst my closest advisors. Those living in one's shadow are the least worthy of trust. If even a tepi is against me. Your wife and child were threatened by him. But now they are safe. We can overcome this. The priests of Anubis will be conducting rites in the great temple. Look for their masks. My blade will serve as well as his. Uh, no, I... Uh, that's me. I care not who kills the priest. Let it be done before we head to Heraklion in the north. Wait. Tanun the father breathes strength into your arm. Another 
priest of Anubis. But there be hides among his brothers. of Anubis. But is it Hatepi? Priests, does one city need? one of these priests has to die. I must strike carefully. The lizard, the priest who cast Memphis. I serve the ways of old Egypt. <coughs> old Egypt asks a heavy price. Innocence, mutilated. Children ripped from the womb. The high priest's name abused. His name was Muck before you arrived. The masses are the cattle of the gods. Driven by the herdsman's whip. You are one of them, by You are a cow! It is will that drives me. Not fear. Oh, yes? And who passes the whip over your back? Who demands that you stay in your car with my death? I have my gods. Now face yours. By your death, the curses of Memphis are lifted. I should report to the others. Enough! 
My queen, they acted only to lift the threat on their brother's life. Gases will trouble you no more. <laughs> what could have driven him to such madness? Memphis is yours again. Ours. Dark matter settled, we can finally prepare for the festival of Apis. May demons feast on Hetepi's car. And may those guilty of Kremo's death soon follow. It is agony to leave you, but I must go on alone. Aya! I will stand by my duty. Where will your duty take you? North, to set the sea aflame. <laughs> I walk on your water. I hope we will hunt together again soon. Until then, let us take this night as ours.
Have a seat. Medjay! Come here! What does this boatman want? Medjay! Come and sit with me. Sam, MMA! Over here! I have a... Please have a seat. Oh. Would you accept me as a traveling companion? I will take a new title. How about Tutmose the Fearsome? I travel alone. Oh, of course. Have you heard about the palace? Crocodiles swarm its halls. Terrible. So many deaths. I am hired to slaughter the beasts, but someone is pouring blood into the water to frenzy them. And you want my help? <laughs> yes, yes. You will shrug off a crocodile's jaws as most men would a gnat's. Kill crocodiles near the palace and I will award you half my fee. What do you say, Magi? I am good at killing crocodiles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Medjai the mighty, Medjai the majestic, Medjai the... Mm, never mind. There is a hidden cave near the city's northern limit. Meet me there tonight. What? Cave rhymes with brave. Miss that one. God himself would cause less chaos. They are far more aggressive than usual. The pile of dead crocodiles should be high enough to please Tutmose. Pile. Crocodile. Ah, oh no. He's rubbing off on me.
tonight I promise to reveal all. One day I met an all-powerful Magi who kept the crocodiles away. I see before me. The palace grounds are choked with Sobex dead. Did you see in the pool human body parts used to lure the crocodiles? Oh, what horror! But why? Oh, who knows why evildoers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace, and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. I will meet you back at my boat. On second thought, Tutmose the fearsome isn't quite right. How about Tutmose the ferocious? Crocodiles. Oh. I knew this is my bad Let us 
scum responsible for the crocodile attacks. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the earth. Out of my way! An abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop.
Welcome to my humble shop. A Magi? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. An inventory. A talisman in blue faience is listed here. I should keep looking around. Mm, a thing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Uh, she is hiding something. And in the second chamber lie the worldly goods of our Apollo and Shesh to protect them and provide them sustenance. The message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. and did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. Now! Stop. You have browsed long enough, Medjai. You're scaring us! I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. 
Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Whoa. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Hey, what? Stop him! Stop We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. 
For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. to you, deliverer. My child is safe now. Thank you.
ancient writing from the old kingdom. 